Uh, my name's Keith Walker. Um, I'm a long-term sort of debugger writer who's just very recently moved over to working on compilers and on LLVM specifically. Um, so I decided what I would do is take a small program and compile it up with LLVM GCC and because I'm a debugger person with a great interest in dwarf, compare the dwarfs, see where they're different and what the implications of that is. Um, Oh, just the arrow keys, they work. Up, down, ah, down. Okay, um, so what I found was actually the debug information is mostly comparable to GCC. But I say mostly. Um, there are areas where it's lacking, um, the most obvious being uh, variable tracking uh, as you optimize. Um, in my example, I actually found LLVM was much more aggressive at function inlining at O2. Um, I subsequently tried O3 and actually found GCC shot out and really got uh, in, in its stride. Um, so areas that I found for improvement was there was duplication of information in the dwarf for inline function parameters. Um, the enumerators were missing in pub names. Um, the <coughs> system include files aren't mentioned in the debug, in the line table. The stack information is not generated for ARM. Um, the epilogue for ART64 is not generated in the stack information. <coughs> and then I had a quick look at what effect does the uh, debug types section uh, have on size, and it has a dramatic uh, reduction in size. And the other thing is um, sibling entries, which is a means of skipping um, symbols in the dwarf. Uh, LLVM doesn't generate it. Uh, deliberately, uh, and it, it has a cost and performance of about 10% when you're loading, but it can cost you about 10% in space. So which do you want, speed or size? Um, so yeah, I sort of use a simple, it's about 70,000 lines of uh, source. Um, so this, these are the um, sizes compiled at different optimization levels, and we can see that LLVM sort of, as it starts inlining, um, the sizes of the debug sections grow, um, whereas actually some of these sections, um, like the string table, the pub types, um, the uh, A range, they're all static. Um, but the interesting one here on the right is for GCC, the pub names is way bigger. That's due to the uh, enumerations uh, being duplicated many, 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 many times. Um, so if we just look at the symbols that um, were in the dwarf, I've removed all the ones that weren't interesting, left the ones that were had any difference, and as we can see, they're all related to inline functions. So the parameters to inline functions, the inline function itself, the lexical box in the inline functions, the variables in the inline function. These are all things that increased in size as you optimized. So it shows you that as you optimize, your debug info is going to grow just due to transcribing the inline functions. And the two things on the right were the fact that GCC generated uh, labels and unspecified parameters. Uh, LLVM doesn't generate them at all. Um, Looking at the properties of the symbols, um, the ones to the left are um, due to the inline functions, the ones to the right are the parameters, and in fact most of the increases on the parameters when we optimize, um, they're all due to duplicate information. Uh, so practically all those ones on the right should be able to be re reduced. Because um, the only thing on a pr function parameter you should need is the location or the const value. Everything else should already be mentioned something else. And as we can see, GCC generated these sibling entries. Um, as I say, these sibling entries, LLVM deliberate doesn't generate them. GCC does. In this instance, they take up 4% of the debug, si the debug, debug info size. Um, if I didn't make GCC do strict dwarf, they take about 7.5% of the debug information. They have no actual debug content at all in terms of information. They're just a speed thing. And actually, 
Most of them are um, <coughs> written in with a four byte entry and practically all of them have a value less than 255. So if you're gonna have them, it would be nice to try and do some optimization there. Um, line t table, is it time? We're running out today. Okay, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the one, one that's interesting that uh, is coming soon is the debug types. So here's GCC compiled uh, with, with and without the generation of the debug types, and you can see a dramatic decrease in the size of the debug info, and in this case, the pub name section, for just generating a small um, type section at the end. So um, this, and, and I believe it's in LTO, and hopefully um, more generally available soon. Uh, that's it.